to learn about how to find inverse of 3 times 3 matrix. There are 3 methods to find inverse of 3 times 3 matrix. Now we are going to use first method. The method is adjoint. So the objective is find the inverse matrix using the adjoint method. Let's A is the 3 times 3 matrix. To use the adjoint method, the first step is find the determinant of matrix A. You have learned about the determinant from the previous class. Here we choose the first row. So, the determinant of A, choose the first row here. So, the determinant of A is A11. The signs of A11 is positive. And then, deleting the first row and the first column. The number, on, the number is not deleting here. 2, 4, 1, 3. Go through to the second element, A, 1, 2. The sign is negative, 2. And then, deleting the first row and the second column. You can find that the number is not deleting here, are 3, 4, 1, 3. Continue to the next element. A13. A13 the sign is positive. So A13 is 3. And then deleting the first row and the third column here. So the number is not delete. Uh, 3, 2, 1, 1. And then you calculate. Determinant 1, 2 times 3 is 6, minus 4 times 1 is 4, minus 2, 3 times 3 is 9, minus 4 times 1 is 4, plus 3, 3 times 1 is 3, minus 2 times 1 is 2. So you simplify 1, 6 minus 4 is 2, minus 2, 9 minus 4 is 5, plus 3, 3 minus 2 is 1. So the determinant is 2 minus 10 plus 3. The determinant of A here is negative 5. Next step is find the minor of matrix A. We start from M11. What is the meaning of M11? M11 is the determinants of the matrix obtained by deleting the first row and the first column. We rewrite the elements is not delete here. 2, 4, 1, 3. So calculate the value of the determinant 2 times 3, 6 minus 4 times 1, 4. So the answer is 2. This is the value for M11. Continue to M12. M12 is the determinant of the matrix obtained by deleting first row and the second columns. 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 4, 3, 1, 1, 3. Deleting the first row and the second column. So, we rewrite the element is not delete here. 3, 4, 1, 3. So, this is M, 1, 2. And we calculate again. 3 times 3, 9 minus 4 times 1, 4. 
So the answer is 5. To find M13, M13 is the determinant of the metric obtained by deleting the first row and the third column. We rewrite the element is not delayed here. 3, 2, 1, 1. And then calculate the determinant. 3 times 1, 3 minus 2 times 1, 2. So the answer is 1. This is the value for M13. Continue to the next row. M21. We will find the value is 3. M22, the value is 0. M23, the value is negative 1. M31, the value of 2. M32, the value is negative 5. And M33, the value is negative 4. Third step is find cofactor of matrix A. The symbol of cofactor is capital of C. How to write the cofactor? We arrange all the minor into the one bracket. This is M11. This is M12. This is M13. This is M21. This is M22. This is M23. This is M31. This is M32. This is M. 3, 3. And then we write the signs of all the elements of cofactor. For M11, the sign is positive. M12, negative. M13, positive. M21 is negative. M22 is positive. M 2, 3 is negative, M, 3, 1 is positive, 3, 2 is negative, and M, 3, 3 is positive. The factor of matrix A is 2, negative 5, 1, negative 3, 0, 1, 2, 5, negative 4. And then the fourth step is find the adjoint of matrix A. How to find the adjoint of matrix A? This is the symbol of a joint of matrix A. C transpose. That means cofactor of matrix A transpose. What is the cofactor of matrix A? 2, negative 5, 1, negative 3, 0, 1, 2, 5, and negative 4. Transpose. So, how to transpose the matrix? That means row change to column. Two, five, negative four. This is a join of matrix A. Last step is find the inverse of matrix A using formula. A inverse is equal 1 over determinant A multiplied by adjoint A. So, from the previous calculation, you know that the determinant of A is negative 5 and adjoint A. What are the elements of adjoint A? 2, negative 3, 2, negative 5, 0, 5, 1, 1, negative 4. So, the inverse of A. This is the symbol of inverse of matrix A. 
is equal 1 over determinant of A is negative 5 <coughs> multiplied by adjoint A. 2, negative 3, 2, negative 5, 0, 5, 1, 1, negative 4. A is A inverse is the metric. A inverse is the metric. So the A inverse must write in the metric form. Negative one over five is multiply inside which all the elements of adjoint A. So the answer is negative 2 over 5, 3 over 5, negative 2 over 5, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 1 over 5, 1 over 5, and the last one is 4 over 5. This is the final answer for A inverse.